only lounge that is open, the Concord Lounge, so that's not a bad thing necessarily. So uh, yeah, see what happens. Struggling a little bit with my the way my uh, leg muscles are at the moment. I'm just hoping that when I can sit down it'll probably be a lot better. But yeah, quite excited to go in first class lounge, Concord Lounge. So let's hope there's some space. I suppose there's got to be, isn't there? Right, let's have a look. So, I've just landed. I just got out of the airport trying to find my lift. No idea where I'm going, to be honest, so um, it's a big good idea if I do find my lift. But, um, nice day, not a bad flight, just good to be back on planes and travelling and painting, so it's good to be back in Ireland, to be honest. It's a beautiful place, love it. I've always had a really great time painting. I've been Belfast twice, Waterford, Dublin. So yeah, really excited. I think, just walking up here, that it, my left might be up here. I haven't got his phone number, which doesn't help, does it? So hopefully he'll spot me, but <laughs> I'll see you. So hopefully I'll see you back at the wall. Well, back at the wall, at the wall at the um, Airbnb, but I'll catch up in a minute. <laughs> So, just got to the wall, and it is huge, and very slow, <laughs> like 7 degrees I've been told, but it looks warm, but it's on Enfield Street, get better view, so it's really good location, really nice wall, with a sort of smiley face cable on it as well, it's got two eyes, smiley face cable, which is not going to be integrated into it, um, I look a little bit knackered and a little bit in paint, yeah, so that's, uh, that's the canvas for the next week, um, yeah, really excited about painting actually, it's in a really nice area, always looks better on a sunny day, but, um, yeah, lovely, so, here's a few more shots of the wall. Airbnb. Really, really cool um, little house on the uh, Shank Hill area of Belfast. Uh, just do a little tour. First of all, most important thing, I've got all my paint, which is very cool. And then I've got a little dining room and a nice little kitchen. Um, yeah, it's really nice actually, really, really nice. So, um, just had a look at the wall, obviously, as you've just seen, and um, really crazy slope on the wall. And then I had a bit of a drive around as well, looked at some of the uh, murals from um, other projects, and obviously the more traditional uh, murals from all the troubles, which is very interesting to see. Um, so yeah, it's just interesting to see the context of where the mural I'm painting is going to be within the community. So um, 
yeah, really excited about this. So something quite different as well. So um, really excited to get started. Tomorrow we're gonna get the lift in place, look at the equipment and then um, hopefully start the ghost lines. So fingers crossed that my uh, nerves and my legs hold up and um, yeah, I don't have too much pain. So I'm gonna just rest up today for the rest of the day and then um, I'll catch you at the wall tomorrow. So, end of day one painting, and uh, not completely finished. Ghost lines are not 100% done. Mainly done though, but um, quite a lot of the bottom bit isn't finished, and I've got to kind of finish that off um, tomorrow. Some of the proportions are a little bit off, um, like her legs are not finished properly because the lift was in the way so I'm going to sleep on it now because it's been a long day and my legs have held up alright to be fair but um, yeah I'm going to sleep on it now the lift's just been moved which is good but yeah I'm just going to sleep on it see what needs refining in the morning but as you can see there's quite a lot of um, there's quite a lot of detail in all of this bit and the, the tax is in she's obviously the main character and there's some more characters there but yeah, super happy with that, and it's gonna look pretty good if I do say so myself. So yeah, really happy. Good morning from Belfast. This is day two and I am sorting out my paint for today. Uh, loads and loads and loads and loads of colours, loads and loads of different shades and um, yes, so it's just trying to pick as much as I need for today. I could always come back and get some more but uh, there's obviously a lot of colours in what I'm painting. A lot of subtlety so good to have a huge palette in front of me and then i use it so really good weather looks good today as well which is nice <laughs> but it may maybe a bit sunny sunny's not so good but we'll see anyway but my leg here's a hypochondriac update <laughs> I'm, I'm not I'm so bloody painful my legs um a bit sore today Probably because I did quite a big session yesterday, so um, we'll just see how it goes. I'm going to take it quite easy again. I say that, but how can you take it easy painting a 30 foot wall? Anyway, I'll try. But so, um, I'm out moaning and I'll see you at the wall now. Really sunny day, really nice sunny day. Actually, I had to put a bit of sun cream on this morning. Uh, just getting the paint up on the lift behind, just trying to frame the shot. Yeah, just get the paint up on the lift. I've got a few little uh, changes that I've got to do to the um, the girl, her legs and her feet. And then over here, I'm actually going to probably make him a bit bigger. Because it doesn't look like they fill that space so well. Uh, there's an electrical box down there. But it feels like, yeah, she needs to be a bit longer and he needs to be a bit bigger as well. So just got to do that. They're, they're only small things, but it's gonna, it will make a difference to... For me, the overall, I don't know if it will to anyone else, but I need to do it right. So uh, that's going to be first thing, getting that ready and maybe putting the diagonal lines in, in the road as well. So yeah, like that, it's quite hard to do that. <laughs> yeah, so that's the first thing and then colour. So I think that's probably going to take maybe an hour or so and then uh, take a step back, make, make sure it's all right and then start smashing colour. Loop. Colour, obviously. So yeah, 
So I'm going to get cracking. Thank <laughs> you.